Cheers, welcome back to our channel. Have you ever wondered which little habits or behaviors you could implement to attract people your way? There are some subtle behaviors that are often seen as sexy, some of which you can make a habit of. You may be wondering what these are. Well, here are six sexy habits that drive others wild with attraction. Number one, always learning. Being smart has its payoffs and it can be quite a sexy trait. That's why it might be a good idea to make it a habit to learn something new each and every day. The more knowledge you possess, the more intelligent you may seem to others as they can learn a lot from you. A 2019 study wanted to determine whether smart is seen as sexy. Researchers asked around 600 adults to rate a list of hypothetical people based on how desirable they were. They found that for everyone in the study, for all kinds of relationships, there was a significant desire to have a partner who was either as smart as them or smarter. The researchers state that the sexes found less intelligent partners less desirable. A more intelligent partner was no more desirable than a partner who was equal in intelligence, but intelligence was particularly valued as a long-term mate. Time to get studying. Number two, relax and use calmer body language gestures. Are you a relaxed speaker? Do you use your hands dramatically when you talk to make a point? In a 2011 experiment by researchers Bob Dennis and Marielle Stell, they discovered that using non-threatening cues allows for someone's state to feel more comfortable when they're with them. Makes sense, right? They found that using calmer, smaller body language gestures and speaking slowly all added in making your newly acquainted date feel more comfortable. Leaning back was also found to be beneficial. Sometimes we can forget that your date might be a bit uncomfortable sitting across from someone they just met. So calmer gestures while still showing your personality is a great way to go. Number three, be mindful during discussions. If you're nervous during a date or around your crush, your thoughts can often wander, making mindful discussions sometimes difficult during the first few minutes of an exciting date. But it's best to practice mindfulness and remind yourself to be present at the moment. In an experiment published in 2015, researchers found that men who were actively involved in a conversation as compared to being distant were seen to be more attractive among heterosexual women. The authors write that more research is needed, but who doesn't find a partner that actively listens more attractive? Number four, they don't check their phone 24 seven. How often do you check your phones? Have you ever frequently checked your phone while out on a date? According to research by global tech care company, Asurion, Americans check their phones 96 times a day, which comes out to be once every 10 minutes. So when someone appears so interested in what you have to say that they don't check their phone the whole conversation, that's quite often seen as sexy, if not simply attractive. People want someone who is emotionally present. If someone's attention is off somewhere else while you're discussing an emotional topic, that can easily be seen as a turnoff. So make it a habit to keep the phone in your bag and ring her off to vibrate. Number five, don't try to be perfect. Do you try to be perfect on a first date? Well, a bit of imperfection in your capable personality may just make someone wild for you. In fact, people may find others who aren't superbly perfect and who even possess the rarity of these so-called flaws as more attractive. In a research study, researcher Elliot Aronson had people rate fake test takers based on their attractiveness. Test takers would either do great on a test, mediocre, or poor. As an imperfection, some test takers would act clumsy and spill coffee at the end of the interview after their scores were revealed. People rated the test takers who spilled coffee at the end of their interview the highest on the attractiveness scale. What this means is that people wanna see that you're an intelligent and capable person, but also that you aren't perfect. The study states, a superior human may be viewed as superhuman and therefore distant. A blunder tends to humanize him and consequently increases his attractiveness. Others may be intimidated if you come across as perfect and make no mistakes. They wanna see your human side. When you show you're capable and yet still relatable as a human being who makes mistakes, people tend to like you more and may find you a bit sexier too. And number six, say their name often. How often do you hear your name spoken mid-conversation? When we hear our name, it grabs our attention and catches our interest. We enjoy our names so much that we can even pinpoint out our own names being spoken by someone in a loud crowd or party. This form of selective attention is related to the cocktail party effect. While in a crowded or loud room, we can hone in on a specific conversation of our choosing. More importantly, if our name is spoken nearby, 
Even when we're focused on another conversation, we immediately perk up and recognize that someone is talking about us. Not only will they have your attention, but you'll likely feel better knowing they actually bothered to remember your name in the first place. It seems it can be pretty attractive to hear someone you like say your name. It sure grabs your attention. So make it a habit to remember people's names and call them by it too. So will you attempt to do these things more? Which will you try first? Feel free to share with us in the comment section down below. If you liked this video, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.